Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 32. Now, last episode, what we did is we set up these ME interfaces over here from Applied Logistics to help with the automation of these pesky PCBs that are in every single recipe for everything ever when it comes to Crash Landing. So, what we've done is we made ourselves some blank patterns and then encoded them with a recipe that told the interface, basically, and told the AE system itself that if it sends certain items to certain chests or certain machines that it will receive other items back so what this allows us to do is for instance if we go to craftable only like this these are the four items we've taught our AE system pretty much to make by itself almost by uh, by putting these recipes in and what we can do now is say if we want a capacitor we could click on it click how many we wanted and click begin and if it had everything we needed to make it it would send it to this chest over here dump it all into this chest uh, well send it to the interface dump it into the chest which would send it through into the pressure chamber interface down through the pressure chamber out through the bottom pressure chamber interface into the chest and then back via the import bus to the AE system to be used for whatever we like. Now there is one or two flaws with the system we have at the moment. Uh, first things first is we can't actually make a full-on PCB. If I wanted to make say this thing here the PRX LX100 logic expansion card I couldn't make it because it requires a normal crafting recipe that we can't make using machines like this but we'll get on that in a second because there's something else we can make that'll allow us to do that. However there is another problem and it was one that was pointed out by many people in the comment section down below thank you for your help uh, what i was going to do at the end of last episode was make another pneumatic craft pressure chamber which would have been a bit costly and an actual massive waste of time now let me just turn that sound off because this flipping safety valve over here is still being a huge pain despite having two sound mufflers near it it's a flipping nuisance it is let me get some uh, some more water added to our pack so we don't die thank you very much and basically the problem lies with the fact that at the moment what we have sending to this new this pressure chamber is in order to make say a capacitor we have to send a plastic a redstone and a compressed iron now the problem is that plastic and compressed iron is something that also has to be made in the pressure chamber so if we don't have any compressed iron like do we have uh, let's have a look we gotta make sure we go back to stored uh, compressed iron we have 77 and we have a lot of plastic actually as well uh, now that we say it but we have a lot more seeds and we probably have a lot more normal iron as well so what we can do is in order to make this a bit more efficient we can change these crafting recipes now my original plan was to set up another pressure chamber that would make compressed iron plastic and, and stuff like that i think that's actually about it and actually yeah and that's it compressed iron and plastic all the different colors of plastic because if i was to try and teach this system here how to do it what would happen is we would have to whitelist it on the bottom and then anytime compressed iron came into the machine instead of sticking around and waiting to be formed into a capacitor or a transistor or an empty pcb it would instead just move straight on through and end up back in the ae system which is not what we want however as i said before a bunch of people in the comment section actually helped out and, and told me that instead what we should do is instead of having compressed iron and plastic in the recipe we should have normal iron and seeds in the recipe because then what will happen is the, the normal iron and the seeds will fall through become compressed iron and plastic they won't disappear and won't go through because they're not whitelisted and then once the redstone's added they will then form together and, and form the capacitor the transistor or the empty pcb as required which is pretty freaking cool Cool. So, how do we do this? Well, once you've encoded a pattern, what you can do is you can bring it back and you can just shift right click to uh, to de-encode it, if you will, and we'll throw all these back into here. So we're going to do a little bit of what we did last episode, but this time we're going to grab iron, we're going to grab some seeds. So we do require, ah, this is a bit of a pain because we don't have any plastic seeds, some black ones. Uh, actually, we should we should have some. Not quite. Can we craft these back? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We should have some somewhere. We should definitely have some somewhere. Um, we'll come back to that seeds. Um, flying flower. We should definitely have some of those somewhere. If not, it's not too big of a deal. I'm pretty sure we can get them using uh, an ink sat. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we go. Squid plant seeds. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm actually gonna leave one in there because we're gonna use some for crafting in a second. So uh, we'll throw that back. And uh, what we can do with this is if we go over back to our pattern encoder. And basically what we're going to do now is let's grab a uh, sister. We're going to need one of you. And we're going to need a capacitor. Can I stop it? Tor. Yeah, I could have done. We'll grab one of you, one of you. And do we have an empty PCB? Ah, ooh, we have uh, an unassembled PCB, which is not what we're after. But what we can do now is we can put lightning seeds in, iron in, and redstone in. One of each. And we can tell it that that makes us a capacitor encode 
And then for the, we can do the same for the transistor, but instead we'll replace the lightning seeds with the squid plant seeds. Uh, that's not right at all. <laughs> we'll uh, cancel that one. We'll make a, uh, a transistor encode. We want to keep that one. Let me just quickly get rid of this one before I mix it up. And, uh, and then we'll do the same thing for the empty PCB, but this time obviously we'll use creeper seeds which we have an absolute ton of from our farm. We only have 16 in here, but we have, I think, a couple of stacks over there, which is kind of cool. So we'll come over here, and we'll just say you and you. And of course, we'll have that equal a, a PCB. So what we'll do, actually, is in order to make that work, we'll just uh, put that in real quick. Uh, the, ah, this is the pain, because you can't actually uh, access that from here. I think what we can do is... I'm going to really quickly... Just kind of don't want to break anything. Actually... Yeah, I don't want to break anything, but to be honest, it's got nothing important in it right now. Let's just get rid of it for a second and try and get it back. Jeez, I can never get stuff off this flipping uh, off this flipping thing. Let me try and let me just do this. Here we go. Here we go. This is uh, this is fine. <laughs> we'll just uh, grab this guy back so he doesn't despawn. We'll throw in some creeper plant seeds and some iron ingots. Then we can throw this guy back on. Boom. Make sure he's pointing down, otherwise it won't work. Put these back in. Boom, boom. And if we wait down here, we should see that turn into green plastic, turn into compressed iron, and then move through as an empty PCB because empty PCBs are whitelisted. And it's probably going to end up all the way back. Can I just grab that as it comes? I'll try and grab it out of the chest, actually. Spamming the left click. Can we get it? Please, thank you very much. And then, of course, we'll throw this in over here at the transistor after we eat the cheeseburger because our hunger is running low. And we should be good to automate some stuff. So we'll encode that done and we'll throw this into uh, the interface up here like so and now it's it's almost fully automated the the process of crafting it is as automated as it can get however our process of getting the seeds is actually not yet automated in any way at the minute we've got to go ahead and grab all these seeds plant them back down and and do all that shizzle with so that's a bit of a pain but we do have all this automated and if we were to request another um unassembled pcb like this one what it would do is it would send the stuff for the transistor for the capacitor for the empty pcb run it all through there send everything back to the system send the empty pcb over here run it through all the assembly line put it into here as a an unassembled pcb and then send it back over here now the next step in the list would be to craft together the um the transistors the capacitors and the unassembled pcb but how do we do that there is no way that we have at the moment of uh, of crafting those together automatically however as, as always, Applied Energistics comes to the rescue, and anyone who's played with Applied Energistics before will know what I'm about to do, and that is make what I like to call an ME crafting cube. I actually think it's called like a molecular containment thing? Cell cube? Craft a molecular crafting cube? Something like that. It's got a really complex name with molecular in it, and so I just call it a crafting cube, trademarked by me. So uh, we're going to make, uh, oh, there we go, assembler ME assembler containment wall and uh, stuff like that. Anyway. We're going to make one of these. We're going to make a really small one for now because this thing is really iron intensive. It takes up a lot of iron. Actually, do we only have... Oh, no, flip neck. I thought we only had 52 then. That probably wouldn't even be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little 3x3 three three one. 3x3 three three is the smallest you can make it, and you can make it as big as you want. The bigger it is, the faster it'll craft, and the more recipes it can hold. Uh, if, you make, if you just make it 3x3, three three, it's not that fast. It's, it's fairly fast. It's not like it's really slow. It's not like it takes minutes to craft something. but uh, And it can't hold that many recipes, but it's still auto-craft. And we are in the desert, after all, with pretty much nothing. So, uh, well, I'll say pretty much nothing. We started with nothing. So, let's make a few of these. We are going to need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20? I think. 20 sounds right. I'll take 20 and see how it goes. You can see we are using up a lot of iron here. Each one of these flipping heck, we are using up so much iron. Jeez, okay, I'm going to make 16 and see how much we have. Um, I, I'm going to move this at some point probably to a better location, but I think for now, I'll, I'll just put it here. Actually, no, let's, let's move this. I don't like things to be too ugly. Let's try putting it in the ground, maybe? Um, hmm. Let's, let's put it here. We'll put it here for now. I might, actually, I might move this. I probably will move this because I don't know if I like it here too much. But uh, we'll move. The, we'll dig up this stuff. Do we have a shovel? We do, but it doesn't have any obsidian on it. Brilliant. Okay, we'll do this. We'll just put it like in the ground a little bit here and we'll move it eventually. Uh, so we want to make sure the bottom is like this. And then basically this uh, containment wall is, uh, as you might have guessed from the name, just right like the outside wall. So we do need one, two, three. Yeah, we need f uh, five more. Yeah, we need five more. Jeez, we might not have enough iron, guys. We might have to uh, cut away and come back because, jeez, we have 27 iron left. Luckily, this is probably the most intensive part of the uh, iron use. Anyway, there we go. Oh, yeah, I was right. Uh, we got one extra. Oh, well, that's fine. 
Uh, we'll put this away. Obviously, we'll probably end up uh, increasing the size at some point. So we can put that away for now. And we can come back to it later. Now, the next thing we need is all of the holes that we've left in the walls. So like this one, this one. Didn't mean to break the torch. Where did my... Where did... There it is. Okay. Yeah, so basically this hole here, this hole here, every hole apart from the very center hole uh, needs to have an enemy heat vent. This is to allow the heat to escape, obviously, because this thing gets very hot for some reason while well, it's crafting stuff. <laughs> so we need to make ourselves, again, more iron. We need some iron bars. I'm going to make one set because I'm, I'm scared of, of how much iron we're using. We've made two and we have 13 iron left. Jeez. We may be a bit unlucky with our iron here, guys. So one, two, we need one, two, three, four more. Flipping heck, what are we out of? Uh, luckily, we're out of any cables at this point, which uh, we can replace. There we go. And then let's try and make ourselves some more. We got ourselves two more, and we are out of iron bars. Jeez, one, two. We need two more, and then I even think we're probably going to need iron for the last bit as well. So this could be uh, a, 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 a thing where we have to cut away and come back in a second. So we'll fill all that up, fill you up. Thank you very much. And we'll have a look. So we need some more iron bars. Boom, boom. We need some more of you. Boom. Oh, look at the... Look how close we were. <laughs> we were so close. So, so close. Now, actually, we probably have some stuff over here because we were sifting through a lot of sand. Let's have a look. Do we have uh, aluminum, nickel, gold, copper, tin, crushed lead, and silver? Perfect. We don't have any iron whatsoever. Oh. Oh, oh, we do. Okay. Okay. Here we go. One, two. We have two pieces of iron, iron sand ore. We'll throw these down like this. Boom, boom. We'll go grab our hammer. Let me just do a quick check because the middle thing we're going to have to make is this guy up here, the pattern provider, which requires four more iron. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Let's grab the hammer. We are probably going to have to cut away here, guys, because... Uh, ooh, we'll use one of our snazzy hammers here. Because, flipping heck, we do not have uh, a lot of iron whatsoever. I thought we had enough, but I was, like, entirely wrong. Um, did I just drop some of that in there? Uh, iron... Ooh, look, there we go. Iron ore, 24. Okay. Okay. That's going to combine to six. That should get us about 18 iron, I think, if I'm uh, not mistaken there. We got a little bit more in there. That's good. It's good. It's good. Things should be working here. That should get us quite a bit of iron. So we're basically, we'll fill that up. We'll put that guy in. We'll make those into the heat vents. And in the middle, what we've got to do is we've got to place a Emmy pattern provider. Now, this thing is pretty expensive. Requires a crafting table, which, whew, look at that. Look at the look at the cost there. Four wood planks. No, I'm joking. But we need a, an advanced processor, which, of course, requires Flux Electrum Blend and some PRC LX300 Logic Expansion cards. No idea why they have such a long name. And some more Flux Electrum. So let's see. What do we have on of this wow we actually have a, an advanced process i was not expecting that that's actually quite nice that is going to cut down our work a lot however we do need more iron and we do need two more of these one two whew, not too sure how many of those we have left prc um 100 how many oh wow is that oh we got one more okay okay we yeah no, we're cutting this close uh so we have enough to make these two almost which is missing the uh, the iron that's fine. And then, oh, we do need enough for that as well. So we might actually just have enough uh, of those expansion cards. It's not, not like it really matters. We have uh, the means to make them ourselves. It would just mean crafting it, which is uh, not really too big of a deal. So we have that. We have that. We need two basic uh, processes. So let's make one more of those. Like that. And then we should be pretty much good to go. We need the crafting table, of course, which uh, is not too big of a deal. Boom. Boom. So all we need now is a ton of iron because we need to get two of these. Each of these requires four iron. We only have... Oh, wait, we're getting some iron. Here we go. It's coming through. It's coming through the system. We have some iron. We need one more piece. Come on. Can we have that one more piece circle through? Yay, it did. Nice. So we got ourselves our Emmy pattern provider just sort of feeding us with iron as we go through. And what this allows us to do is store more of these um, encoded patterns like this into here. But this time, instead of telling it what items it has to send to the machine, like we're doing this, to, uh, to get other items, this one we will just put in straight crafting recipes so for instance if we came over to this guy over here we can teach a another pattern like this that three capacitors like i don't know how i don't think i think it's shapeless so i think three capacitors and three transistors along with a pcb an unassembled pcb like this and it should automatically detect that that makes 
put the circuit board nice so we can encode that and we can actually put that into this over here and once all this actually oh this will connect i think to the me system once it's uh, once it's fully made but uh, once the system is fully made we can throw that into here and then what we'll be able to do is just tell the ae system that we want a pcb and if we have the transistors the capacitors and the printed the unassembled pcb that we need it will combine them all together in the crafting cube and pretty much instantaneously send it over there and send it back for us to use however if we don't have the stuff and we don't have a transistor say it will then look to see if we have the stuff to make a transistor and if we do it'll automatically intuitively send it over to this chest to have it made which is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me and uh, for those who are wondering yes applied energistics is one of my favorite mods i uh, i absolutely love the way you can alter it stuff like this it uh, is pretty freaking cool so let's have a look do we have what it takes boom oh my gosh look at this we have it beautiful i thought we'd have to cut away then but, uh, but apparently not apparently that iron was enough so i'll put one there and we'll put one there, and if you've done it right, it will combine into a nice looking crafting cube, and all your ME cables will hook up to it nicely, and you'll be able to throw in your pattern like so. So now, if we head on over here, and we look at the only craftable items, we now have a printed circuit board. So let's request one, shall we? So what it's going to do now is it's going to try and do all of this stuff. However, we probably don't have enough transistors. So it's probably going to end up sending some stuff over to here to be made. There you can see we've got some black uh, some black um, plastic being sent over there. It'll, send, it'll drop in the iron, which will compress together to make the transistors, which it will send back over to there. We do, however, have enough... Um, unassembled pcbs we've got like four now from uh, from testing so we have enough unassembled pcbs to uh, to make it we don't have enough transistors and we do have enough capacitors so that's fine so once it's made all those transistors it's going to send them back to the uh, to the a system it's going to drop them through one at a time we should probably be able to see it uh, down here once it's done we may be out of iron actually <laughs> that could be a problem uh iron go to you we be out of iron. I think it just sent one over there to be made. Uh, but iron could be a big problem. Uh, we, this is probably finished going through all the iron by now. It has. We may still have some running through the system, but... Uh, oop, there, it's it's done something. We've taken, we've made some some transistors. Uh, not too sure if we made the right amount, but we'll see, I guess. Um, craftable only. It's still going. It's still doing stuff. Now, something else that we probably should make that uh, that is very useful for this kind of stuff is the ME crafting monitor. This is the crafting terminal. The crafting monitor will uh, show us whereabouts in the process we are of making whatever it is we're auto crafting. It will allow us to cancel it as well. So in order to make that, we're going to need a, but another one of these, which we should be able to get momentarily as soon as we've got another one of these printed circuit boards if and i say if with uh with with bated breath oh gosh we, have, we need like one piece of iron come on now guys come on we gotta gotta have one piece of iron somewhere like please please do we not have one piece of iron that'll get us not enough not enough never enough gold tin copper stuff 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 any in here Aluminum, silver, more aluminium, stuff like that. Bah. Let's pull this stuff out. This stuff's kind of useless being sat in there. That is really flipping annoying. Is there any, is there like a recipe for iron? Like a, a strip recipe? No. Sad face. Ah! That's such a pain because now we cannot, we, ah, we're, we're one piece of iron off getting that third transistor and then we're one transistor off, um, Showing you how that PCB works. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I am prob. Is this even working? This isn't even working. I thought we were going to need that flux electron. Let me th this th go away. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. This should be working now. We are pulverizing sand into dust, which is going to be sieved through. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll throw that in there with you guys. That should start getting us some more iron, which is very nice. One thing I do want to do, and probably one of the main reasons why I have um, been making, trying to automate these PCBs, I want to get some more machines. I want to get more pulverizers. I want to be making more ores and stuff, because when we're trying to do all this higher end game stuff, or more closer to end game stuff, like uh, all this applied energistics automation, you can see we used a lot of stuff. We used a lot of gold, a lot of iron, to, uh, to make this uh, containment wall over here. We're using a lot of PCBs, a lot of redstone, and I want to be able to make more of the stuff that we need. And we'll probably also need more ferrous soon as well, which requires nickel, which isn't even made by uh, by sifting through dust. So we're probably going to have to get, go ahead and set up like another... Uh, sifter somewhere to sift through like sand and then probably another one to sift through gravel and then i probably want some sort of system that breaks all of that down into uh the basic what are they called like here the, the basic dust the basic ore dusts so that we can like just have one system where they all go through to, uh, to the high oven and all that good stuff without having to leave it running for ages like this because it's a bit of a pain so um is this are we getting anywhere close probably not because this takes like oh we need what ah, one more piece one more piece do we 
Are we anywhere near close? Maybe. As soon as we do get that one iron, though, what it's going to do is it'll send it through. I don't know why we're getting rain. I think it's a, a bug with version 1.1.2 because we shouldn't be getting rain because we're on a desert island. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Shouldn't be getting rain. All right. Are we are we anywhere near anywhere near close? Like, maybe? Get all this junk that's just black, like, bucking, bucking, bleh. What? <laughs> Let's just backing stuff up. Um, okay, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go away. I'll be back in a second once we have a mere five more iron, which will be enough to to make the rest of the stuff we want, that we need to make. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, and we have ourselves the iron that we need. However, it turns out we are missing a little bit of this black plastic as well. So we'll get uh, another one of those, or at least another two. Let's just do one more just for, for safety here. Plop. And boom, boom. Thank you very much. And why did we only... What? Oh, there we go. We got four. Nice. Okay, that should be fine. So, again, we'll leave one in a chest somewhere so we don't run out because that's the last thing that we want. But now, if we put three back in here, we should see one of them instantly disappear, I think, over to the, uh, the pressure chamber. Because as we can see in here, there is only um, iron and redstone. There's actually no uh, seeds in there. Did that go? It didn't. Why didn't it go? Ah, you know, when things just don't work, they just they just don't work. Let me get rid of all this junk. Uh, I don't want to fill up our A system with it. Keep all that in there. You can stay in there for now. Why are you not working? I do not know. But what we can do is we can fix it by getting ourselves a block and, and just cancel and just throwing uh, one of those seeds into the uh, the system. That should work just fine. Actually, we could just throw a piece of black plastic in instead of wasting the seeds for now. Uh, do we have? I don't think it's made the printed circuit board. It hasn't. So. What we can do is, let's grab a piece of dust, and let's go climb up on our flipping machine again. Here we go. There we go. Take you down, hopefully, one last time, and we'll throw that in there. That should work just fine. Set this guy back up. Boom, point down. Stuff back in. Boom, boom, boom. And that should have worked. We should now have a, a printed circuit board in our system, or we should be very close to having one in our system. Uh, if we didn't actually uh, okay, go on there. <laughs> did we, um, did we maybe, um... Okay, now what we can do, actually, okay, I'll, I'll do a quick little uh, little thing. If we go at Applied Energistics, and we'll go back to this crafting monitor. If we make this guy here, which we can almost make... Oh, we need the printer to... Ah, we need the circuit board in order for this to work, don't we? Jeez, come on, come on now. Ah, why, what is... Ah. Uh, do we have the transistors? We do. Do we have the capacitors? We do. Do we have the unassembled PCBs? We do. Why do you no work? Let me, let me, this should begin. It worked. Okay. Why? Well, I, I, I I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask questions. It, it, for some reason decided to cancel there. That's fine. We'll make another one of these. We'll make another one of these. Not the right thing, but there we go. And we'll make ourselves one of these. Boom. Done. And what we can do with this is... I'm going to put it here for now. I'll probably find a better place at some point. We can put it here and we can have a look at what it's currently crafting. So, for instance, if I want to make a another another one of those... So, we do have the stuff now to make the... Oh, do we? Oh, yeah, we got four iron. So, if I want to make another printed circuit board, which we will want to eventually, we can click begin. And if we look in here, it'll say what it's currently crafting. Because these are the items that it doesn't have. It's gone to try and make this. It's realized that we do have the unassembled PCB. We do have the capacitors. However, we need two transistors. So what it's going to do is it's going to send the transistors over to here. All the stuff it needs to make transistors over to here and do its thing. Send it back and we should be good to go. This is a really useful tool because when you're making really like high-end complex stuff like this thing, for instance, a spatial storage cluster, which requires like a ton of everything to get to, you uh, you kind of want to know whereabouts in the process the uh, the crafting went wrong. You can see that that had like 18 steps to all the stuff it needed to make it. Like boom, 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 boom. Like like there were so many things that could have gone wrong in the, in making like is auto crafting a spatial storage cluster you kind of want to know where the problem is so you can go and find it find out what's missing and uh, find out what you need so again we have hit water flipping run out of water so fast let's uh we're gonna do what we never do and straight up just drink one one two three and we should with that guys be pretty good to go so what we can do now is that we can make as many of these little um storage disks as we want on these these blank patterns as they're called and we can auto craft a bunch of stuff so we could have uh, wood auto crafted crafting tables auto crafted if we really wanted to hoppers torches all the little things that we use quite often as you can see this is gone now which means our printed circuit board is done we have a second one and that is pretty flipping cool someone said that we can automate seeds with drones 
haven't tried haven't quite tried that yet or really played with that at all so if anyone knows how to do that please tell me in the comment section down below let's have a quick look over here we've got a stack of 17 of beef uh, a stack and two of leather how is our dirt doing our dirt is doing flipping awesome look at that six stacks we should uh, we should upgrade this a bit why are you not being harvested are you somehow backed up it might be it might be the leaves are backed up but i can't see why that would be an issue um hmm hmm Yes, it's backed up with oak leaves. Okay, let's. I might have to update that to like a, uh, uh, a like a flipping massive um, uh, leaf collector there. That's ah, oh, that's gonna be a bit of a pain actually. I might have to rethink the idea a bit because leaves seem to be taking up an awful lot of our uh, system. Seems to be backing it up quite a bit, and it's not helping with the wheat, which is a bit of a pain. However, what we can do is we can grab like all of this. We we should. I kind of wish we had a backlog of wheat a little bit. If we had a backlog, we could sort of make some. Um, Make some toast, which would be quite nice. We probably should set up some sort of backlot somewhere. Anyway, guys, this is all working fine. It's it's making the wheat. It's planting it. It's harvesting it, I think. So we should be all good to go. And with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there because we did what we wanted to do. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. In the future, we will probably look at uh, sorting that wheat problem out. But for now, we have ourselves a pretty much almost really really close to almost 100 percent automatic way of getting these printed circuit boards all we have to do is figure out a way to automate the planting and harvesting of these pneumatic craft seeds especially the ones that are planted and harvested in water they can be a bit of a pain uh the creeper ones we've got already which is flipping cool uh i guess what we could do if we if we wanted to not have to plant and harvest them because that's a bit of a pain what we could do is that we could use the dirt that we've been produced over there we could set up a bigger scale production like making more dirt with more barrels because we have so many leaves uh produce a ton of dirt sift through a ton of dirt set up a squid killing farm and whatever it is that gets us well we need blue dye don't we hmm Hmm. We could make that work. We could set up a squid killing farm that kills the squids, gets us ink sacks, auto craft the ink sacks together with the uh, the grass seeds that we get from sifting through the. I think it's uh, dirt, isn't it? Let's have a look. Grass seeds. Uh, yeah, we could sift it with them with through uh, through with the grass seeds. Combine it with the grass seeds we get from the dirt to make the to make the the seeds, and then just send them through to the chamber. That we that would have to be on a pretty big scale for it to work automatically, because we'd have to have a ton of grass seeds. We'd have to have a ton of squids being killed, a ton of ink backed up. We already have a ton of creeper seeds. That's fine, and we would have to turn the bone meal automatically into bones. Use the lapis that we got to make blue dye, and then combine them together to make the light blue dye, and combine them with the seeds to make the lightning seeds, and then combine those in the pressure chamber with everything else. So it is possible. It is possible to do it without having to plant and harvest these seeds, but these seeds are kind of easier. If, if there was a way we could plant and harvest this, then that would be kind of nice. We can use dispensers to just throw them on the ground. That does work, but then I don't know how to harvest them. So uh, I guess we could maybe use pistons. Would that work? If we sort of, hmm, I wonder if that would work. If we could sort of like have maybe a, hot, uh, a dispenser to dispense it down, an autonomous act uh, activator, right click it with bone meal, have a little timer set so that in like a few seconds after the bone meal has been activated, this just goes pop hits it with a piston, breaks it, and then a vacuum popper picks it up. Maybe? I don't know if a vacuum popper would work, though, because it would pick up the seed as soon as it got dropped through the dispenser. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. There are so many options. It's flipping hard to automate the, new, the, the pneumatic craft stuff. So, uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.